I'm doing great so far. The weather for Indonesia is going to bring the risk of thunderstorms for the next seven days starting on Saturday. It's going to bring a lot of rain and thunderstorms for the next seven days in Jakarta, Indonesia, and surrounding areas. This Indonesia is in the rainy season right now. They're bringing very humid temperatures, a lot of rain in Indonesia, a chance of thunderstorms right now. And there's a Siberian polar vortex coming all the way from Yakutsk, Russia. It's going to travel all the way to western Canada next week. Thank you, Frankie McDonald in Nova Scotia. How is the weather in your area right now? Right now, it's snowing outside my area. You've got a snowstorm heading from Montreal on Sunday. Well, right now, if I look out the window, we have like a foot of snow, Frankie. we got a, a dump of blow over here, a big snowstorm. I sent you pictures. Did you get them? Not yet. They're on your Skype. You can look later. Frankie, can you say hello to our good old friend Jeeve from Oklahoma? Hi, Chief of Oklahoma. I'm doing great so far. Thank you for doing the weather in Indonesia. We have a friend there, Julie, who, and her class. She's an English teacher, and her class has been watching the Base Guy show, and I told them to go watch you. And what are uh, people in Japan should watch Base Guy show too? So is people in. And uh, people in Ukraine, and people in Greece and Albania, people in South Africa, people in. Mozambique, Madagascar, and Plate, La Rione, and Marantis Islands, and Fiji Islands. They should watch, yeah, for sure. If anybody is here live on the chat board, this is your chance to ask Frankie any question, and both Frankie and I will be looking at the chat board and trying to answer any questions. Frankie, what will spring be like in Montreal, says Pat. going to be warm air, cold air, fighting each other, it's unpredictable yet. And Indonesia will be in the dear fall, New Zealand will be there fall, we'll be getting colder in New Zealand. Jeeve in Oklahoma is saying, Frankie MacDonald, does the moon have weather? They have no atmosphere up in, up in moon. Mars got weather. They get really, really, really powerful sandstorm up in Saturn's moon Titan. It has liquid nitrogen like rain up in Saturn's moon Titan. I just I just bought myself an Asus ROG laptop to replace my old HP laptop. Just today, it's going to get delivered next week. It's an Asus ROG laptop. It's going to re replace one of my old laptops. Oh, so you're getting another laptop. That's amazing, Frankie. You deserve all good things. That's going to replace my old HP laptop. The internet no longer works. Uh, Wi-Fi no longer works. Anything that can go wrong on the Base Guy show will go wrong. All my equipment doesn't work. So, yeah, baby. Frankie, what is life all about? The life is a boat. That, and I go for walks and things like this. Do my weather reports and things like this. And Monica's doing great so far. She's taking care of goats and things like this. So you can see me right now, right? I'm pointing the camera. I can see you. Okay, good. M Monica's taking care of goats. In Bonaventure, Quebec. That's amazing. Um, so now it's perfect. Yeah, we had a problem. So thank you for spotting that out. We, when you do 1,500 shows, things are likely to break. All of this equipment has survived nine and a half years of the Base Guy show. Frankie, I've been do working extra hard, doing a lot of videos. I got 1,000 subscribers, and in about a, a month or two, I should reach the goal of getting more tools from YouTube to launch. Yeah. We want to get 17 trillion subscribers. That's a lot of subscribers. There's not even that many people on Earth, so we'll have to go to a different planet. You don't, you don't know anybody from a different planet, do you? No. You don't have any alien friends or anything like that? No. They can't reach Earth. Okay. What about that guy that was on the show before, Cal, Cal something? That's a character, Cal Wealth. I, that's a character I made up. Is he around anywhere today? <laughs> I don't know. So, ladies and gentlemen, you're watching the Base Guy show, and we have a snowstorm here. And we're talking to Frankie McDonald in Nova Scotia, and we're looking at the bird feeder. And we have a new side cam. It's a little bit grainy. It kind of looks like 1980s TV. That's okay if Cal Wealth is not here, Frankie. And then, indeed, things are great so far. Those ghetto basement gang like Owen Gonzalo, he subscribed to your show. Oh, great. So we've had a lot of subscribers lately. I think like 150 this week. So that's a, that's amazing. Like Owen, the host of the ghetto basement, all his friends subscribe to your show. Awesome. Um, Frankie, you don't have as much snow as we do, do you? That means and they're getting lots of more rain hit for Sydney, Nova Scotia Monday. Uh, I think there's something wrong with your mic. I cannot hear you. I'm reading the, the comments here. I couldn't count how many times people told me to turn down. Uh, I pretend to do it, and then they... Oh, okay, so that's a trick in music. People tell you, hey, turn down your guitar. Turn down your microphone. And then Jeeve 
is a musician, so he just pretends to turn right it down. Right now is the second half of the January. <laughs> that means then it'll be halfway to winter on February 1st. Today is Penguin National Penguin Appreciation Day. That means Lunar New Year's Day is on a Sunday. Amazing. Bass guy show from uh, bass guy show from so Pat says that we should do the bass guy show from outer space. Then it'll be on the news. Uh, I can hear you all. So thank you, Frankie, uh, for calling in. This is our one thousand. Do you have a message you like to say to all the subscribers who support the show? Support bass guy show and things like this. Awesome. It was really nice that Cow Elf was on our show the other day. So, Frankie, our food store closed. Did you hear? Yeah, because of the mayor. Uh, no, not the mayor. Mayor's great. It's the owners. There's three old guys. They they own the store, and they just closed it without telling anyone, cutting off they our food. They kept the top secret. The owner of the store kept it himself. Yeah, top secret. And we've had the food store for 85 years, so a lot of people depend on it, especially people with disabilities and people who don't have a car and stuff like that. Now they have to go to the Couchetard. So if people went to the, the Couchetard is the 7-Eleven of Quebec, and in the rest of Canada, the same company is called Circle K. Frankie, if you went to the Circle K, what kind of foods could you get if you were hungry? Hot dog, pizzas, and hamburger, or chicken sandwich. So the base guy show is going to be living off hot dogs from now on, and sandwiches and stuff like that. Um, did you see the video that Sky of the Universe came to meet me again? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and there's a sign in front of the store. You can see it in my last video. It says Pourquoi, which means why. People want to know why it closed, why it went bankrupt. It sucks if you have... Imagine if you had no food in, in Sydney, Nova Scotia. What would you do? Really bad. Yeah, you'd have to order from uh, the internet. Some That's what we did. We ordered some food, so... And did you hear about this? Zeddy, that Zeller's his mascot. I heard about Zellers. Pat was telling me. What's going on with Zellers? Zellers is being resurrected by the Hudson Bay Company. Zeddy might even be returning. So the Hudson Bay Company was the first big fur trading company in Canada, right? A long time ago. Yes, and Zeddy, that's the Zellers mascot, is a teddy bear. Aha, uh -huh. that's right. And Zellers was a company that was around in the 70s and 80s, and they closed down, but they're being resurrected. Uh, Sky says that you can also get pepperoni sticks down at the Couchetard, right? Yeah. And things like that. Um, so, Frankie, what do you want to talk about? Did you hear about this? Uh, Indonesia's getting so much rain lately, and Philippines is getting going to get a Thailand's going to get a lot of rain in the monsoon season. In another few months away, Bangkok, Thailand's going to get so much rain in the monsoon season. That's a lot of rain. It must be really difficult for people that live in flood zones and stuff. People have to keep moving their, their homes and cities away because they, the weather is getting bad. So it's like the food store. With the climate change, it's always the poor people that suffer first. Yes. And the, the poor people... In Indonesia is that it's happening down in Indonesia. So the poor people suffer first, but they pollute the least. What does that mean? That means they suffer first because, uh, after all, the rich people will suffer. But they don't use as much resources in the world as the rich people, so it's it's uh, complicated. Anyway, I, Saturn, Moon, Titan, Mars has their own resources. What kind of resources do they have on, on Titan? They got their resort. They got their own resources up there. They got their own resources on Mars. They got their own resources on Jupiter's moons. We were checking out a star the other day, and Pat got out his star application on his phone, and we saw the star, the star Cirrus. I think Cirrus is the brightest one in the sky. Yeah. They and got their own solar system in Cirrus. They got their own planets. Yeah. They, got, they do their own thing, just like the Earth does its own thing, and you do your own thing, and I do my own thing. Yes. Um, Frankie, can you tell us what kind of movies or shows you've been watching lately? I am. That means that the, the movie I saw was The King's Speech and Child 44. That's a USSR movie. The King's Speech, that's King George the Sixth movie. I think I saw The King's Speech in the movie theater in uh, Scotland. That's King George the Sixth and King George the Fifth. You know what I haven't seen yet? I saw it every year, The Queen's Speech. I, I missed The King's Speech. Did you see it? The Christmas? I saw The King's Speech earlier in the week. What kind of stuff was he saying? King George the Sixth is 
thing saying I wrote that doing a speech as the king of England. And when King George V died, Prince George become King George VI. And I have a friend who's older than King George, uh, Larry the producer. Do you know Larry? Yeah, he's an imaginary producer in the Base Guy show. And also Sky is saying that, that's right, Frankie, um, we saw Orion's belt. Have you seen that constellation in the sky? Yeah. O Orion's belt. He's got like a belt and a sword, and it's in the night sky at this time of the year. It's beautiful. St. Anne's, where I am, has uh, the lowest light pollution on in, on the island, so we can see the stars pretty good. Yeah. Uh, any advice to people in 2023? Everyone's kind of getting hyper crazy and clowns and it's stuff. Gonna be active. It's going to be active hurricane this year. They can watch my videos on YouTube. Okay, so everybody go watch Frankie's videos. Thank you, Frankie, for sharing this. Did you have fun today on the Base Guy Show? Yes, I had fun on the Base Guy Show today. Um, is there anything you want to say before you go and to the subscribers? Best of luck to you. I'm Frankie Dell. You're listening to the Base Guy Show. Thanks, Frankie. Frankie McDonald, ladies and gentlemen. Live every... Oh, my microphone's all messed up. Live every week at this time. Larry! 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 Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching The Bass Guy Show. Now with more and less content. I don't like to brag, but we're a pretty big deal in... Uh, in Indonesia.